Hello, Serge here from the back porch. As you can see to my right over here, I have a, I have a collection of some woods. And what I have is three drivers and my three wood. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up today is because, as you all know, if you've been watching these daily lessons long enough and, and have heard me do any kind of other clinics or whatever, uh, my personal body specs are that I'm five foot nine and I have a 35 inch sleeve, which is very, very long arms. Uh, DJ is six foot three, and I'm five foot nine, and we have the same length arms, 35 inches, which is just about average for a guy his height, but way longer for me. So all my equipment is custom made and has to be short. I normally swing about an inch under standards, sometimes an inch and a half, and my lies are still flat. All my irons are about two degrees flat to accommodate my long arms, and, and my woods are short. Today the average driver is 45 inches, as much as 46 on some, 45 and a half to 46. They're making them long because they're saying that longer clubs hit the ball farther. But longer clubs only hit the ball farther if you can swing them as fast, hit them as, as solid, and as straight. If you can't do those issues, then you can't hit a longer club better. And I'm all about hitting it solid and straight. My whole forte, all my life, it's all been about hitting it straight. So. With my drivers here, I'm going to show you my, my two drivers that Lynn Griffin, the doc, has built for me. They're KZGs. They're smaller heads. Smaller heads work better because the sweet spot is the same on a club, whether it's a, a little five wood or it's a three, 460 driver. So the key is I believe smaller heads are better because the sweet spot is smaller. And if, if big heads are so great, why do they still make three wood so small? I like that answer coming in. I know somebody's going to say to hit the ball, you can get it to get it off the ground better, but I still don't think that's a good enough answer. We hit them better because it's a smaller head. The mass is, is for the weight of it is located in a smaller area. So, and you've got less space to miss the sweet spot, which means you're going to hit more of a better shot. The bigger the face is, as far as I'm concerned, you got more you got more room to miss the sweet spot. So my these two drivers that that Lynn built me. My specs on these are 43 and one half inches. So based on a 45 inch driver, I'm an inch and a half understand it. As you can see, both of these drivers are the same length. Now, when I bring in my three wood, which I'm going to put on the front of these, and I'm trying to line the shafts up as best I can, as best I can, you can see that this is at least, an, my three wood's at least an inch understand it. Now I started thinking that, that when I, when I had a three wood teed up, and I can hit this three wood so far, I mean downwind I can hit it farther than my driver. But I, I just decided that I always felt like I could really straighten my hand, my arms up at impact, which is what we want with my three wood. But but even with these even with these these relatively short drivers at 43 and a half inches teed up, I always I had this feeling like I'm just not quite straightened up. So I've been thinking about it and thinking about it, and I said, well, why don't I get a driver built with the same length as my three wood? And so. And I said, if anybody can do it, I'm sure Doc Griffin could do it. So I put him to the test, and he built me a driver. Now, at one time, I had a driver that was 42 inches. I hit it so straight, it was ridiculous, but I started losing distance with it. I just wasn't quite long enough. Because no matter what, because physics is involved, we have to deal with the law of diminishing returns. More isn't necessarily better, just as less isn't necessarily better. Boy, I hit that 42-incher really straight, but I just didn't think it was long enough. And I don't think that it was built as good as it could have been. So I gave, I, I asked Doc to think about it. Could he do it? And he said, absolutely. So here is the result. I got it back from him a couple days ago, and, and today was the first day I played nine holes with it, and I really hit it pretty good. I mean, and, and I hit it together with uh, against one of these, and I think they were pretty much close to level, which if that's the case, and I really, you know, I'm definitely going to hit it because, boy, I really felt my arms straighten out, and I hit it solid, and this new, this new Alpha driver is really feeling nice and solid, and so uh, solid is, is this three wood. So and as you see here, this one here, the Alpha driver and my three wood are about dead the same, the same length, and both of those are shorter than my really short 43 and a half inch drivers. So my point is this. One time way back when, about over a year ago, I challenged everybody over 60, all the men over 60, who were having trouble hitting their 45-inch drivers or longer, to go to the, drive, to go to the golf course and, and get, bring their wife's driver or, or rent a lady's driver at the range, at, at the golf course or the range where they're at, and, and hit them and see what, uh, how they feel, what they did, and to come back on the site and, and give us a report. And, and 
golfer at the golf run came back and said they couldn't believe how good they hit the ball. So I'm doing my test. I think it's definitely going to work. I hit the ball really good today with this 42 and a half incher, and I'll come back and I'll give you an update a little later on, maybe in another couple weeks when I get to play. I've uh, right now I, I between golf schools and teaching, I, I I've only played nine holes, which is today, uh, in the last two and a half three weeks, and and I'm going to be busy for about another week and a half. Uh, with uh, this and I'll, I'll be going to the next PGA Tour event with DJ so I won't be doing any golfing but when I get back and have a few, little bit more uh, uh, tests with to do with it and play with it I'll give you the final results but right now I think this one's going to be a winner and I think it's definitely in the bag this 42 and a half incher so if you got the means to go find a good fitter try getting a smaller driver made or cut down an old one you have that'll only cost you the cost of cutting it down and putting a new grip on it and give it a shot and especially if it's got a smaller head than a 460 you're using too Give that a try and see if it doesn't help you because I promise you, I bet you it will help you just like all of those, all of those guys about a year ago when I made the challenge to go try a ladies driver and they got really good results. So try a shorter driver, cut down one of your old ones or if you want get a new one made from scratch by a certified fitter who will also build it and I'll bet you you're going to find you'll be hitting the ball with your driver a lot more solid, a lot more straight and longer and that's the way you shoot lower scores, getting it in the fairway off the tee to give you those better shots to the green. Well, from the back porch, that's a search today on Shorter Drivers, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.